told you've scored in every single away game this season, Billy. That's a handy net to have, isn't it? Well, obviously, I think I'm pleased for Simon Cox. You know, Cox, he, he got injured a couple of times at the start of the, start of the season. We then tried to bring him back. He, got, he broke down again. And now he's back looking he's sharp, sharp as self. He's looking bright. He's looking energetic. He's looking confident. So I'm pleased for Coxie. I'm pleased for the whole team to win away from home, obviously. Well, pleased for, pleased for the players. We've put a lot of work in the last two days. Uh, you know, I've got to say, the one, I understand you guys need to sell newspapers. I understand that. But the one thing I, I, that I don't, uh, you know, when I look at the situation, I don't, I don't get too excited when we're in the top six, when we go out of the top six, when we win, when we draw, when we lose. My message to the players has been the same, I've got to tell you. Just keep working away, keep ticking along. There'll be highs, there'll be lows, there'll be ups, there'll be downs. And if anybody thinks for a second that come the end of the season, the, the, the current league positions will be the way they are come the end of the season, I think they're kidding themselves on. There's a long way to go. But it's the continual changing of positions and such like that gets the fans talking to them. Absolutely, without doubt. So the newspapers are on me. No, I'm not having a go. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not having a go, David. I'm just make. I'm just making a point. I'm not having a go. Not having a go at all. So you understand, I'm not having a go, David. You think? You think? Oh, I understand very well. Absolutely. Indeed. But the fact that Forrest, who were one of the pre-season favourites, and had a very good start to the season, suddenly because of a slight dip in actual results, slip out of the top six which is the playoffs, so people are going to mention it. Well, also mention, David, if you're going to mention anything, mention the fact that Forrest are missing, in value, over £8 million worth of talent. In value. And also mention the fact that we have got some very good young players here who are learning their game. Chalaba, Dallow, Patterson, LaSalle's. So we understand where we are. We know, we know that as a club, there's always a huge expectation at Forrest. But... No club can sustain, none, can sustain in value over £8 million worth of talent. And also, when you're trying to uh, bring along some young players, we know they're going to be sometimes good and sometimes bad. And that's what we deal with. You mentioned LaSalle's there, Billy. Were you pleased again with his performance today? Him and Hobbs look like they might be a, a decent partnership. He's coming along. He's coming along. He's got work to do, but he's, he's learning the game. He's learning what this division's all about. And he'll get better. Definitely get better. Billy, just after you scored, it looked like, looked like a clear cut penalty. What, what do you think of that? What one are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what, what one are you talking about? When the keeper broke. Yeah. Listen, that's up to you guys to, to analyse. Uh, you know. Sorry, the Derbyshire one. Was one as well. The Cox one or the Derbyshire one? <laughs> Within a way they performance like that, how, how close were you in the final third that you know you saw social pressure there and then you had, they had good pace in the final third? Well, you have to come here. You know yourself, they've had a fantastic result against Leicester. Uh, their tails are up. Uh, they've got very good players at this football club. Don't care what anybody tells me. They're a strong team. You've got to come here and you've got to put in a man's performance. And I thought today we put in a man's performance. It was a very, very solid performance. Tactically, we were excellent. And uh, I thought we competed very, very well with a club that has got good players, no doubt about it, and a club that's probably sitting in the wrong position. And I'm sure they'll get themselves very much up this league table. In the final few minutes, there were a lot of balls coming into your box and seem to be probably spotted there every time. Well, it does at Sheffield Wednesday. You know that's, that's the, the way they play, and, and you've just got to accept that that's the game you have to try and handle. But as I said before, we're, we're pleased, pleased with the three points. Uh, we are where we are in the league table. We are where we are in the, the the month of the season, and we'll just keep doing what we do with the, the players that we've got. We'll keep working with the players that we've got, and we'll keep uh, try to pick up as many points as we can. When do you care about the league table? I think David can answer that one because <laughs> him and I have had this debate many times. But uh, certainly, well, another of those managers who I think you probably never look at the table. Never look at the league table. Never, not at this time. But whenever a manager says that, nobody this side of the fence believes you. Absolutely, <laughs> and quite rightly, quite rightly so. <laughs> I take on board what you say about there being ups and downs, Billy, but would it be nice to, to get on a little run now? I mean, in the past, you've had little runs that have, that have carried you up the table. 
at Forest, would, would you like to start building something now? Now you've got one win under your belt. No, I'd, I would like. I'd like to try and get some of the talent back in the team that we're missing. The fluent, the fluent Forest play that we're, we're playing, as you know, at the start of the season when when we had uh, that value of player in the side, we were a different side. And now we're looking at young players, and we're looking at the situation. Then we know that that from time to time we'll be high and low, but. Hopefully we can get one or two of these talented players back into the team and that will certainly help us grow in stature, certainly help us in confidence. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.